it was created uh, last semester in uh, the fall 2013. The concept is unique in Quebec. We have a pretty big number of students involved. We have uh, four active research projects. They work in groups. They are doing very well. They uh, already shown a lot of interesting results. At the beginning of the semester, we created projects and ideas, and then um, and developed like experiments uh, having to do with certain topics, like related to certain things. In my group, I was part of the sound group, and uh, I had a good background of knowledge on that subject because I had taken the NYB Waves and Physics course. So I was able to apply that knowledge and expand what we had learned and used in more of a pragmatic way and uh, applying it to real life situations in classrooms and uh, teachers' offices. In our bio labs, we have a lab manual that has our step-by-step -step instructions. We follow it, we're done the lab, we leave, we have lab activities, whatnot. But here it's more like we have to sort of find our own procedures for what we're trying to look for. We have to, if we don't have the equipment, we have to find an alternative. Like there's no one there to tell us what to do, it's just a guide. But we have to come up with the real work in the end. Uh, they choose their projects, they, they, they choose their objectives, and then they struggle to find the means and uh, the methodology and everything in order to attend their objectives by themselves. It's also, uh, like you said, an introduction to being able to be more autonomous. And um, yeah, I mean, what I learned through this experience is that I can find information and then interpret it by myself. Well, obviously I had the help of teachers or other experts, but it's just being a little more independent in what we're learning. It's really helpful because we're also like learning about other fields. Like we learn about the physics and the sound projects, also yeah. air quality. And in the biology and chemistry, we talk about like water quality. So we're just like really expanding our horizons, I guess, and then just trying to be able to adapt to like different part situations. We all share the same kind of uh, interest, so you meet different people and you become like a team and we work together to, to do new things. Doing the experiments here in Vanier, working with petri dishes, with bacteria, I really found it really interesting. That was really cool <laughs> for me and that really made me choose one of the fields um, of biology, which is microbiology, and I wish to pursue my studies in microbiology. What I found like the most interesting about this is that when we actually do get together and we actually start looking at these problems and we start talking about these equations and it's all like, oh, look at this, and then he sort of starts guiding us to these, to sort of start pushing the like boundaries of what we know. I think that's what sort of got me interested is that it, it's not so it's not a course, but if you treat it as though it was a course, you can benefit from it. Like, it's just a chance to apply what we're learning.